Welcome back. All right, look, doctors say colon cancer is one of the most deadly, but one of the most preventable cancers if it's caught in time. And joining us now to give us perspective on all of this is Dr. Catherine Manalakis. She is a gastroenterologist at Borland Grover, uh, and Paul Santiago is a colon cancer survivor. Paul, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming here to, to share your story, and we'll get to that story of survival and how you're doing some great things to help the community in just a second. But right. first, uh, Dr. Manalakis, let's let's talk about colon cancer. Um, in, the, in the sense that it is preventable, it is treat it's treatable, but preventable if we catch it in time. Correct, even most importantly, which is really, I think, unfortunate uh, part of that statistic is it is the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States. But if found early during screening, we're typically looking for polyps, which we discussed earlier, our precancerous changes. We remove those at the time of the procedure, so that prevents progression to cancer. 40% of the adults in America who are age appropriate are not being screened at this time. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So getting the word out and coming in and saying, hey, listen, just get the screening to make sure that, you know, everything is okay is so important. Absolutely. Yeah, because if you find it early, it's, uh, you, can, you can get rid of it. My dad has, uh, has, you know, taught me a bunch about this as well. I've been to your clinic several times, um, taking good. him and, and dropping him off. And uh, I was asking you when, you know, I'm 43, turning 44, when should I get screened? Who should get, you know, I mean, is it, what are the ages, who are the people right. that get screened? So actually with a family history, you would be a little bit different. Generally speaking, people without a first degree affected family member or a more particular history would start at age 50. African Americans can consider starting at age 40. People with a family history also want to start at age 40 or 10 years prior to the affected family member. Okay. So you're due. We'll oh. see you soon. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Make an appointment before you leave. We can bring cameras, right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get the um, word out. Before we get to the foundation, which is mm -hmm. really important, yes. and there's an event coming up, let's bring you into the conversation. Let's talk a little bit about your story, how you found out, how you were diagnosed, the, the whole nine yards as time permits. Well, unbeknownst to me, I did have warning signs, but I put it off thinking that I had an, an, maybe an ulcer. And what happened was I uh, was told by my primary care physician that I should get screened and I put I had scheduled two appointments at Borland Groover and canceled them uh, and then unfortunately I had a friend pass unexpectedly from colon cancer so I decided mm. to wow. keep my next appointment and was diagnosed the day before my 51st birthday with uh, stage 2 rectal cancer Wow um, and the foundation how is the foundation helping uh, folks like Paul so the foundation actually raises money and has funds available both for research and education, as well as uh, financial aid to patients who do not otherwise have access to care for both screening as well as follow-up care if indicated. And, and let's talk about, Paul, how are you doing today? Like how, as a result of all the treatment and everything you, you received? I'm doing great. Uh, I've been three years out since uh, diagnosis, uh, cancer-free, and I go for annual screenings, but I feel pretty good and have a lot going on. Got to see the birth of uh, my first two grandchildren and uh, my two youngest graduate from high school. So it's awesome. all good. Congratulations. Yeah. So the moral of the story is don't get, put off. <laughs> no, it, once I, if I know someone has not been screened, I'm, I don't gently push. I'm a little aggressive on making sure, sure that they do get their screening. It's, it's, it's critical. Yeah. And uh, it, it, the march is something that we do to get awareness out. And, you know, we've put a team together over the past few years to, yeah. to make let's, that let's happen. Yeah, let's talk about the team and the foundation. Yeah, let's, uh, so you got a, a walk coming up, um, march to, to get screened. Is this Saturday, right? Yes, this Saturday at the Seawalk Pavilion. Race starts at noon. It is a 5K. Last year we had 600 participants and we raised $50,000. Wow. For the foundation. So for how important care. is this to get this money for the people who, who need it with, through the foundation? Oh, absolutely. Unfortunately, even with all the advances in health care <coughs> insurance, there is still a, a large portion of the population that's unfunded, and we are able to reach these patients. And then even people with funding were able to support further research as well as education. So I think we're making a really positive impact in our community. And it's not too late, it's only Monday. And Paul, you have a team. You said you brought your team shirt with you and everything. I, I, I love did, this. at the urging of my wife and uh, mm. uh, my good friend. Look friends, at this team name. Patty and Mary right there. Kay. Hold, hold it straight there. The We're Turtles. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's the best team name I've seen so far. It's the only team name I've seen so far, but I love it. So how do people sign up, get a team started or between now and, and Saturday? 
You can register on the website, which I think you guys are going to post shortly, mm -hmm. and then we also have registration available day of the race. Okay, you can walk right so up. So there's, you can walk right up. There's not a reason not to march to get screened. That's right. Yeah. Good, get get some good exercise, meet some good people, probably That's share right. some stories, get some good information, and, and prevent colon cancer. There yeah. you go. It's good He's to serious. See you. He he literally said he, he wanted me to schedule. My, my check or my uh, my screening with her right now. He wanted me to. I, I, we have the coolest mascot if you want to join our there team. There you go. We'll you even you. have a team. He has a t shirt for you. I told you, bring cameras, I'll do anything. There we go. Oh, there you go. Appreciate thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you. you very much. We want to thank Borland Groover Clinic for sponsoring this segment. Get more information on Borland Groover.com or by calling 904 398 7205. You can also learn about this year's March to Get Screened on MarchToGetScreened.com.